So in this video, I'm going to show you how I repaired my spot welder and what the cause was. And hopefully this can help you guys out. And then it stopped working. So plugged in, switch on. doesn't even make a noise the top display doesn't work but the bottom one does so I've removed the front leads from the glitter 811H I'm going to strip the top and get the top off Now we've got the top off. We have two screws under there to undo. And now we're ready to undo the main points. You are going to need a four mil Allen key to undo those, like that. So when I first peeled this back, I looked at these MOSFETs and thought it may have been these that had popped, but they'd been defaced. So that was out of the question and I really didn't know what was going on with it. So I had a closer look at this motherboard and you'll find out in this next part. I've just had a look on these boards. This is the front casing. I don't see no visible damage or burn out or anything on the board. And I've just had a look on the board, but there's no visible pop marks or anything on the capacitors, nothing on this side of it, what it seems to be. So let's just get the light in there. So there doesn't seem to be anything popped um, visibly. As you can see in there, there doesn't seem to be anything and the MOSFETs, they seem to be in good condition. I'm going to do a resistance test and see if there's anything coming across there and then we'll go from there. So I'm just going to do a resistance test across these MOSFETs. If they beep, they're no good. If they don't beep, then they are good. So, and then we can move on to the next stage. So what you need to do is get it in the resistance test in your multimeter, and then we're gonna now test to see if they beep. If they do, then they need replacing. If they don't, then you're good. So what we're gonna do is go into this strip here and test. So they're making contact, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So all this is good. There's no beeps. If I get you the meter there, this is the reading I'm getting on there. So 622, 625. So that's, these are the readings you should have. And there's no beeps. So now we're going to move on to the next stage. All right, so the next stage now, we are going to discharge this unit with this tungsten um, wire. So we're going to connect to this part up here. Okay, is the minus side and the plus side is this side. So we're going to connect the minus, okay we're going to connect the plus side. Do not touch that because that's going to get hot and that's how you discharge that unit. And next you're going to want to put your multimeter 
into DC, the voltage, and we're going to check across the voltage of these terminals. Like that. And that is safe to work on. It's uh, under one volt, so it's safe to work on. Now you've discharged your unit, it's safe to work on. So now we have to remove this plate and I've had a little look and it seems to be very stuck on there. So just be careful, um, get behind it with a screwdriver. Better from going in from the top um, because I don't think that would ever come off from the side. If you go from the bottom, you're just gonna bust everything. I think they've got silicon or something on that. So it's not the best idea um, of getting that back on there. So yeah, just be aware of that. Otherwise you could end up breaking that like I did a tab. So yeah, just, just be aware of that when you're taking it off. Just get a screwdriver down the top and um, yeah, just take it off from the center. That's all what you're greeted with anyway. So um, all right. we now have to undo all of these screws undo all of these screws to get this board off. Right, now that is undone. Now we need to do a couple of solder joints. So we've got this main main wire going to this board and we have the positive wire going from the other MOSFETs over here. Two solder joints and then we can take this wire off, that wire off, that wire there we can release the main wire board from this housing here. So I think I've found the main two culprits of why this board stopped working. It's got these two resistors that are here on the board. Don't know if you can see that. Those two there and that. And those two resistors. That's why that board blew. I'll take a picture. So on the new board, that is these two here that popped. So I'm gonna replace this board, like I say. So this is gonna to have to be unsoldered and that's gonna to have to be unsoldered and then we'll just replace these two boards, even though this is probably not the cause, we'll just replace them both anyway. Just remember that that one's got an insulator around it, the middle one. Oh yeah. That clip down the bottom. I've got to take this one off the motherboard as well. I'll take that one off down there. There seems to be a lot of shards of metal. I'm going to try and remove those before replacing the board because that could have been the problem with that as well, shorting out. So as you can see, 
I've cleaned it all up a lot better than what it was. So I'm just looking at the board, the new board. I think I'll put a bit more Kapton tape on there. Save that arcing itself out on the board. So I'll do that as well. So that's the back of the board now. It's got another layer of Kapton tape on it. Just didn't like the first layer. So yeah, it's got a second layer of that on there. And then all we got to do is just put that on there. When putting the cover back on, there is a way that this should go on, and that is these parts here. The sloped part should be at the bottom. Okay, and mind your cables. Have a look at your cables. Okay, make sure they line up. It's not going to crunch the cables when you put that back on. So just be aware of that. I'm going to stick some double sided tape on that and then stick it back on there. There we go, that is on there. Now all we've got to do is just connect the ribbon to the motherboard, the control panel, and then basically replace it all back together. Now when tightening these allen keys back up, just make sure you give it an even spread on each um, allen key nut so that it gives him even pressure. Make sure you keep these leads from getting trapped. Hopefully now, when we switch it on, it's going to work. I hope. Let's try it. So I'm not going to put my leads in just yet, because I'm going to test it first before I do anything else. Please work. Please, please, please. Power on. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, now I can get on with that battery build. Oh yes, oh, I am so happy now. Wicked, right, I'm gonna turn it off and then I'm gonna put the leads in before it charges up too much.
Yes. Finally, I'm getting to build my battery. I hope this has helped you guys out. Let me know in the comments if you've had the same issues. And don't forget to like the video. Cheers, guys.